Hey, Frankie. Hey. How you doing? Good. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Spirit of God dwelling within us. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We gather on this vigil of Pentecost, the birthday of the church to give thanks to God for the gift of God, the Spirit in our lives, which brings unity and the forgiveness of sin. Let us acknowledge our sin and prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily these sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting light. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who willed the Paschal Mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days, grant that from out of the scattered nations the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Thus says the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Even upon the servants and the handmaids, in those days I will pour out my spirit. And I will work wonders in the heavens and on earth blood, fire, and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. At the coming of the day of the Lord, the great and terrible day, then everyone shall be rescued who calls on the name of the Lord. 
For on Mount Zion there shall be a remnant, as the Lord has said, and in Jerusalem survivors whom the Lord shall call. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Creatures all look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we are saved. Now hope that sees is not hope, for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim this gospel wordly and well in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, when the advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the spirit of truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me and you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, 
but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. In a year in which there is a good snowpack in northern New Mexico, about this time, near Tierra Maria, where I'm from, or my family's from, there is a phenomenon that happens with the spring melt. And that is the phenomenon of this waterfall that falls down the Brazos Peak, from the Brazos Peak, and it's in the locals, it's known as El Chorro. El Chorro is, is like running water. It's not called El Chorrito, which is just a little drip, drip, drip. That's, that's a chorrito. El Chorro, when there's a good snowpack and the melt begins, it's a beautiful waterfall, and it could be seen from miles away, and it's, it just, you look at it, first of all, it's beautiful. Secondly, it just gives you a lot of hope, because water is life. And it runs into then the Brazos River, which unites to the Chama River, which unites to the Rio Grande, which flows through Albuquerque, which goes down to Texas, border of Texas and, and Mexico. The more water there is, there's more smiles all along the way. Because there's more greening that takes place with the water that brings life. The entrance antiphon today said, the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit dwelling, in our, dwelling within us. That's a chorro. That's not a chorrito. The love of God that has been poured into our hearts is like this wonderful waterfall that is plenteous that brings hope, that brings smiles, because it's bringing life to everywhere that it goes and that it touches through the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. Now, dwelling in our hearts, I mean, if you want to capture all that water, you, you need to make your heart a lot bigger. You can use a thimble, and you'll catch just a little bit. You can use a measuring cup, and you'll catch a little bit more. You can use a big gulp, like these girls have their big gulps with them. Is that water, or is that soda pop? Just teasing you. But the more that you want, well, the heart has to be made bigger. It can't, it, to contain all this water, to have it pass through, it needs, you need to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Because the love of God has been poured into our hearts. Unfortunately, too often we think of the love of God just being dripped into our lives, drip drip, drip. I, 
you're begging God for something because you don't think you deserve it. And, and God, as we say in Spanish, es Cusco. He's stingy. And he's just going, oh, I'll give you una gotita. I'll give you a little drop. But that's not what the entrance antiphon said. The love of God has been poured into our hearts. And that's what we celebrate at the beginning of the church, is that the love of God has just been poured into the life of the church so that we can live, that we can have hope, and more importantly, that we can bring life and hope everywhere that we go and what that we touch it's like the water in the river bringing greening to all the peoples along that river well that's part of our task as the church that's our mission is to live first of all with that confidence that the love of god has been poured into us and that we have something then to offer the world. We have good news. We have the peace that comes from Christ and through his death and resurrection. We have the gift of reconciliation to help bring peace and reconcile peoples one to another and to God so that all the earth, as we sang, in the, or what we would have sung, if we were singing, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth in the responsorial psalm. The spirit is given to us, the church, to renew the face of the earth. So today, as we celebrate the birth of who we are as God's people, Have an image in your, in your mind and in your heart and in your spirit, not of gotitas, drip, 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 but of this deluge of grace that has been poured into us so that we can do the work of God and that the world can come to faith in Jesus Christ, risen from the dead and alive among us. I invite you to stand, make your profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God has poured his love into our hearts. Confidently, let us present our needs to our Heavenly Father, confident that the Spirit prays in us, asking for what we need. that the Holy Spirit will empower the church to bear witness to her faith in Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the spirit of truth will guide all church and national leaders in the ways of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Spirit will bring healing, light, and hope to the sick, 
the suffering and the dying, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the gifts which God has bestowed on each of us may be used for the benefit of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the outpouring of the Spirit may ignite our hearts with the fire of divine love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of the deceased, Janice Saavedra, Ernest and Alfonso Martinez, as well as Patty Valdez. May they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us also be mindful of one of the Norbertine priests who was killed tragically last night in an accident, Father Graham Golden, very young priest, formerly the pastor at the Holy Rosary Parish. May the Lord receive him into the kingdom, give consolation to the Norbertine community, and may his good work also accompany him as he goes to the kingdom. For Father Graham, for the repose of his soul, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for sending us the gift of your spirit into our lives to enliven us, to strengthen us in hope, to help us to constantly keep focused on the hope of the kingdom. May this celebration of Pentecost renew within us the grace of your life that you gave us at our baptism. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. On the last day of the festival, Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Where are you going? Okay. People. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. God bless you. God bless you. The body of Christ. God bless you. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Set it down. Put it away. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. God bless you.
body of Christ? Mm -hmm. The body of Christ? Mm -hmm. The body of Christ? Amen. The body of Christ? Amen. The body of Christ? Amen. The body of Christ? The body of Christ? God bless you. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have some wonderful signs of new life, of the Spirit's bringing new life into the Archdiocese. This past Thursday, there were five men ordained to the transitional diaconate. They were ordained here by Archbishop Wester. And please God, next year they'll be ordained to the priesthood. This morning at the Cathedral Basilica in Santa Fe of St. Francis of Assisi, uh, we had Father Jordan Sanchez who was ordained to the priesthood. 
And so we give thanks to God for Father Jordan and for these five young men, one of whom will be with us later on in the summer to spend some time with us before he goes off, uh, returns to the seminary for his final years of study. So we give thanks to God for this new life in the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a beautiful Pentecost Sunday, everybody. God bless you. And now if you'll do this disinfecting. <laughs>